Hi, I'm Jack Horn. I'm an Eagle Scout from Austin, and I'm currently a uh, middle school history teacher in South Indiana at uh, Christ the King Middle School, where I teach 6th, 7th, and 8th grade uh, history. Experiencing nature is really important, especially we live in a world today where you're constantly surrounded by concrete buildings, you're in a car all the time, you're never really in nature. So to actually have that memory of actually being in the wilderness is really amazing, especially for someone who's, who teaches history. When all the time you're reading about, you know, the explorers going through the Cumberland Gap, the Oregon Trail, trying to conquer the unknown, it's kind of hard to relate to it now because you don't really see it every day. But just having that small little taste of that experience kind of makes it so I can relate a little bit more to what I'm actually teaching. And I find myself talking about those high adventures and those campouts all the time when I'm telling my students about uh, certain historical things like people exploring the Great West and things like that. And it actually helps a lot to, to have those memories and it, I love being able to share them with my students. Scouting has really influenced the way I teach too. Um, like when, when you're in scouts and every time there's a problem or something that needs to get done, you just get a bunch of scouts together and you tell them like this is what you need to do and they'll solve the problem, they'll do whatever needs to be done and sometimes they'll do it in a hugely inventive way that you wouldn't even think of. And that's kind of influenced how I teach in that. In my classroom, I love doing group work. I don't like the kids just at their desk sitting there alone trying to figure out something on their own. I love putting together in groups where they talk about history, talk about what happened, and they come to their own conclusions through the sharing of ideas. Because you're going to come up with some great things when you put a group of kids together. Scouting teaches you all these skills that you don't even realize you're going to need or use later on. Something as simple as learning how to cook. like. When you're growing up, your mom's cooking for you. When you're at college, the dining hall giving you your food. And then eventually you're on your own, you're in your own apartment, and you walk in after work day, and you have to think to yourself, whoa, I have to cook my own meal now, you know? It's not just magically getting up here in front of me. And actually, like, learning how to cook in Scouts really helped me when I was in grad school and I came home and had to cook my own food, not just for me, but a bunch of community members, you know? There's some other, a couple other people, they, they were worried they were just going to burn water, you know, but I'm like, no, I, I know how I'm actually going to do this because I've cooked a little bit before. Congratulations, Eagle Scouts of 2015. Uh, I hope you continue to be a role model to the world for what Eagle Scouts can be and live up to that expectation.